Namaskar. I would like to introduce a classical dance style of India, Odissi. Odissi is one of the classical dances, an old tradition, an art form that has existed for centuries. Very old sculptures and inscriptions in the caves and temples prove that this art form existed in the 2nd century BC. Over years, generations, thousands of years, this art form was nourished, patronized and flourished for many years in India. And then there was a period where it got extinct. And Odissi as a dance form was revived in the late 40s by the pioneering works of the great masters, our gurus, like Guru Keluchiran Mahapatra, Guru Pankaj Charandas, and Guru Deva Prasad Das. The characteristic of this dance style is that it has very subtle and lyrical and flowing expression with sculptural stances. The very basic stances in Odyssey are the Samabhanga, the Abhanga, Tribhanga, and Chauk. The dance technique has been structured and codified and as dance students learn this art form, they have to go through vigorous training to imbibe and inculcate the technique, the nuances of the style. In today's demonstration, we will be showing how the dance develops from the basic learning practice to complex patterns of footwork, body movement, the eyes, the torso, the neck, the, the wrist, hand gestures, foot positions, etc. The music that is used in this dance form is Odissi music, characteristic to the style. Odissi is the eastern state of India for people who are not very familiar with the geography of India. And this music has its own character, its own technique and its own classical classicism which has been also developed. The main instrument, the percussion that we use in Odyssey is the mardala, which is also accompanied with manjira or it's called gini in Orissa and also accompanying instruments are the violin, the sitar and the flute. I would like to show the basic technique of the body movement, the positions of the feet which are called the padabhedas demonstrated by my student. Namrita, will you please demonstrate the torso movement and the foot positions. The torso movement is very characteristic of the Odyssey dance style where the movement of the torso goes from side to side and front and back and it also goes round and this movement is used in the dance just show the tribhangi the three bent position where the torso moves e the da da the the da e the da da the the da e the da da the the da e the da da the na the da da. It's just the moment of the torso. The hips don't move. 
it's the deflection of the hip that gives this very sensuous and artistic and sculpturesk movement of the body. We will now demonstrate the Padabhedas, the positions of the feet. which are taught on the right as well as the left. Then we have the hand gestures. The basic hastas are taken from the Abhinay Darpan. And then we have some special Odissi hastas. We will now demonstrate the hastas. Pataka, Tri Pataka, Ardha Pataka, Kartari Mukha 1, Kartari Mukha 2, Mayura, Ardha Chandra, Arala, Shukatunda, Mushti, Shikhara, Kapitha, Katakamukha 1, Katakamukha 2, Suchi, Chandrakala, Padmakosha, Sarpashisha, Mrigashisha, Sihamukham, Kangula, Alapadma, Chatura, Brahmara, Hansasya, Hansapaksha, Samdamsha, Mukul, Tamrachur, Trishul. These were the single hand gestures, Asayukta Hastas. These were the single hand gestures, Asayukta Hastas. We will now demonstrate Sayukta Hastas, the two hand gestures. Anjali, Kapotha, Karkata, Swastika, 
Dola, Pushpaputa, Utsanga, Shivalinga, Katakavardhana, Kartari Swastika, Shakata, Shankha, Chakra, Samputa, Pasha, Kilaka, Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Garuda, Nagabandha, Khatva, Bhirunda. Uh, Odissi is very uh, prominent with the sculpturist stances, the bhangis or the poses, which are characteristic to the style. Uh, a few very important ones are the darpani, where you see A woman holding the mirror in different different positions. The Alessa. Mardala. Parshva Mardala. Veena and many more. These uh, bhangis are used in dance. We will demonstrate a dance piece called Batu. The temple walls are filled with these poses and it's been the inspiration of all artists, painters, dancers, everyone to use it and you will see how these sculptorous poses flow into movement with the rhythm in Odissi dance. This item has been choreographed called, it's called Batu and it begins with these postures, with the instruments, the veena, the flute, the mardala, manjira and this whole dance piece is choreographed with these postures. We always begin our dance practice, any dance session, with a namaskar, a pranam, seeking the blessings of Mother Earth. And when we close the class or, or our practice, we do the pranam again. So we will start with the namaskar. Thank you. 
would now like to demonstrate a nritta piece, a pure dance piece called the Pallavi. All classical styles have three aspects, the nritta, nritya and natya. Nritta is the pure dance or an abstract dance that does not interpret any text or a song. It is set to rhythmic bowls, to rhythmic percussion sounds and musical notes, bringing out the aesthetic beauty of the style. Pallavi, which literally means to blossom, exhibits the technique unfolding gradually from slow movements to faster tempo, beginning with eye movements to the neck and the torso and the footwork which gradually develops to intricate patterns and complex rhythmic patterns woven into the musical notes or a raga. There are various compositions of Pallavis. The Pallavi that we will demonstrate today is based on Rag Shankara Bharanam Tal Chatusra Ekipal Pallavi.
Abhinay means to express or emote. This particular Abhinay is based on an Arya song in which the poet describes the episode of a Naika or a heroine looking for her friend and wanting to confide in her. She tells her friend, Prana Sangini, oh my dear friend, the other day something very embarrassing happened with me. I would like to tell you what happened. You actually advised me to not make such mistakes, but I make this folly again and again. The other day, Krishna, disguised in the form of a woman, came stealthily into my house. He dressed up like a woman, braided hair and wearing garments of a beautiful woman and he beckoned me and told me that he will put Alta, the red paint, on my foot. And I listened to him and I was mesmerized by his beauty. So this piece, it's just a small piece from the song that I will be demonstrating. It's a whole long episode with lot of happenings, but what you will see is just a small piece of the Abhinay. How we use our hand gestures and our body language to express the song. Oriya song.
Oh 